Hey everyone. So let us talk about this late code problem remove duplicates from sorted array. So you are given integer array nums sorted in non decreasing order. Remove the duplicates in place such that each unique element appears only once. The relative order of the element should be kept the same and we need to return the number of unique elements in nums. Okay, so if you consider this example, we have a nums array which consists of 1, 1 and 2. Okay, and how many unique elements are here? 1 and 2, so the total 2 unique elements. So, so this should be our output. Alright, and we also have to update the existing array. So that is basically mutate the original array by getting all the unique elements towards the left. Okay, and whatever is in the right, it doesn't matter. That is irrespective, but we want all the unique elements towards the left. Okay, so let's consider uh, our whiteboard. Okay, and we have sorted array in non decreasing order. Okay, so let's say we have 0, 0, 0 over here, then 1, 1, 2. Okay. So there are total three unique elements over here and our output should be something like this 0, 1 and 2 followed by 1, 1 or 2. This does not matter but all the unique elements has to be towards the left and we need to return the count k is equal to 3 over here. Okay. So what will be our approach? Let's discuss that. Okay. So we know that the first element is always going to be unique irrespective. In an array, the first element is always going to be unique. So we'll say that we have K as one. Okay, because there is one unique element by default over here. And this is also going to help us in updating our array. I'll tell you how. Okay, so we know that k is equal to 1 by default because first element is always going to be unique. So we'll start our for loop from the first index, i, th I equal to 1 index. Okay. And what we'll say is whether my this element currently in this iteration, this element, is it equal to is it different from this element? No. Okay, let's just move on. Okay, so we check whether our current element is with our previous element and we will find whether they are different. So over here they are not different. So then we move to the next iteration. Is our current element different from our previous element? No. So we move to the next iteration. Is our current element different from the previous element yes it is different that means we have got two unique elements now okay but we need to also shift this uh, unique element towards the left so what we do is we say nums of k equal to my nums of i why i can say this because I am already keeping k as 1 over here. In a 0 indexed array, I am keeping k as 1 because I have I know that my first element which is on the 0th index is always going to be unique. So I have kept k as 1 over here. So I can easily say that okay on the first element, first index, let's just move our 1 over here. Okay, so just change this to 1. So we have got 0 and 1. Now currently we are on this index. Okay. And update your count. So we know that we have two unique k elements until this iteration. Okay. And our k is equal to 2. So basically k is equal to 2. Now we come to this iteration and we check whatever element is present here compared with the previous element. Are they equal? Yes, they are equal. They are not different. Okay. So do nothing. Move to the next iteration and we come over here at 2. So is this current element different from the previous element? Yes, it is different. That means we have encountered a unique element. 
So obviously we increment our unique element count. This k becomes equal to three. But before that, we update our this value. So k was two. So we say nums of two is equal to nums of this current element two. So then this becomes, which is this is two index, which becomes two. So our output array becomes zero, one, comma two, one, one, and two. So only this matters, and our k is equal to three, which we return as our output. Okay. So let's just write the code and uh, see how it looks. So I have let k is equal to one. Because I am assuming that my zeroth element is always going to be unique, so I will say k is by default one. I'll have to run a while loop on let i equal to one from the first index, not from the zeroth index. I have to run the for loop from the first index. I less than nums dot length. I say i plus plus. Now I check if. My nums of i, the current element, is not equal to my nums of i minus one, the previous element. Okay, they are not equal. That means I need to update my kth index element is equal to nums of i, and I can say k plus plus. I can also instead of writing it separately. I can say k plus plus over here, which is also going to work. Okay, but for all right, let's just skip this like this. And after for loop is executed, we have got our unique count. All right, so let's submit run this. Okay, so we have got an acceptance on our test cases. Let's submit it. All right. So we have got an acceptance. 